it's your girl the empress chanel coming at you with a astrological energies of the karmics versus non-karmics reading i haven't done one of these in a very long time so i figured i'd just go ahead and do one y'all know how this go if you don't know how it goes go look at the playlist um basically i use these cards to show the astrological energies of the karmics and these cards to show the astrological energies of the non-karmics or basically the energy that they're going to be pulling off of um, past, present, near future whenever you find this reading. This is going to be a timeless reading. And then I will clarify those energies with tarot. Okay, so let me move this. Okay. All right, dear my loving and most highest vibrational angels, ancestors, spirits, guides, soldiers, and guardians, I ask that you cover me in the whitest light from the highest vibration as I deliver this message. I ask that you cover my collective in the whitest light from the highest vibration as they receive this transmission. Gratitude, gratitude, and gratitude. If you haven't already, check out my new moon eclipse in Taurus reading. All right, so I'm going to get four cards over here. We got Uranus. We have a stellium, which is three or more planets within a specific sign or a house. Okay. Stelliums indicate that there are lessons from the south node that have yet to be learned. So whatever house you may have stellium in, um, oh, wherever the stellium is right now in the sky, <laughs> basically. I don't even have my little thing pulled up. Ninth house. So we got ninth house energy right here, Sagittarius. And hold on, let me get my, <clears throat> okay, I'm back. I had to go get my read the room cards and <clears throat> I actually looked up where the south node was right now. <laughs> and like I said, ninth house, south node is in Sagittarius currently. You know, spirit don't be slouching. Spirit don't be slouching, all right? But interestingly enough, there is a stellium in the eighth house. So um, with Mercury, Venus, and the sun. So um, this could be um, energy that's coming up here near future um, when everything moves into, because, you know, Mercury and Venus take a shorter time to go around the sun than the earth does. Virgo right here. Mm. Okay, so, I mean, <laughs> which is ruled by Mercury. And then I say Mercury was in Scorpio right now, headed towards Sagittarius, okay? So something about um, someone's ninth house, someone, like I said, could have a ninth house stellium in their birth chart. Um, but either way, these are the energies that these um, karmics are going to be pulling off of. So when there's this stellium coming up here in, in Sagittarius, um, which is currently the south node um and the ninth house is about like goals direction religion higher education law we'll, we'll read what it has right here the ninth house is the house of philosophy religion and culture ruling over the hip and waist area <clears throat> planets in the ninth house can indicate a need to focus on refining the philosophy we choose to live by in order to identify and release karmic cycles that are generational in nature Karmic impacts of the ninth house include engagement in low vibrational ideologies and misguidance of our belief systems. So, as I stated in the eclipse reading, there is somebody who is misguiding a group of people. This could be religiously, this could be politically, this could be spiritually. Okay. Um, known as the planet of eccentricity, Uranus right here, I believe it rules, I want to say Aquarius, which came up in my last reading again, but um, rebellion and unexpected and uncontrollable changes. Uranus is all about breaking social constructs, any barriers that stop us from activating our fullest selves. The karmic aspects, aspects of Uranus could also manifest as instability, lack of direction, this card could indicate that the Uranus aspect, as well as the house it sits in, is in need of balancing. So somebody needs to balance out their ninth house energy. Something in reference to religion, culture, breaking generational curses. So these 
who who sit in this karmic energy they don't like the fact that somebody is manifesting a better way to do things it's like that um staying stuck inside of the box this is how it's always has been done this is how it should be done and if you're not doing it like this you're wrong and your life is they're they're calling in your life being a disaster because of it <laughs> these are people who are stubborn who don't want to think differently i'll just put it like that the planet of communication logic and reasoning your mercury sign dictates how you will process and digest information as well as how you will communicate to others so you could be saying one thing to high vibrational beings and these low vibrational karmic energies are like flipping it and twisting it and you know even with this religious factors here they could be making it seem like oh you're doing something evil or the wrong way or this can only be done that way and that's crazy because i just talked about this it, look at the eclipse reading when I was talking about how somebody has some sort of protectors or energies or entities or things like that that others may believe is just evil or bad oh my god hell oh my god Hecate you know that was the example that I used um but those energies come around you in a high vibrational sense because you sit in high vibrational energy so you are guarded or shielded um toward anything that's low vibrational or negative only person that can invite negative energy or low vibrational energy into your energetic field is you high vibrational being and you haven't been because you've been living your life according to what your spirit guides and guardians have been having you do and they, they just can't compute that with this mercury energy right here it just it's not computing in their brain 444 i just saw on the side <laughs> it's just not a computing to them in their brains like how you healed from doing something that is seen as evil like they don't understand how there can be something good out of something that they have always been taught was bad they're not trying to understand they don't want to understand don't try to explain don't waste your energy trying to explain something to somebody trying to make somebody change their mind so that's what could be the warning coming up for the high vibrational beings. They're pulling off of low vibrational negative. You should stay stuck in this paradigm type of energy. Generational curses that you have already removed from you. You've already taken the hooks out, so to speak. They're trying to rehook, bring you back in. Okay? That's what this is. Trying to have a, a new start with old karmic energy disguising it as wanting to understand how you do things and what you have going on but it's not there you're not going to be met with the energy of understanding and you should be able to discern that <laughs> gemini okay gemini and virgo are both ruled by mercury okay and what we have over here for virgo rules over the sixth house of health and service associated with the liver the digestive system virgo energy is associated with um okay so something about spirits or alcohol see because somebody was told or shown or something like that that you have to drink alcohol which puts you in a low vibration in order to contact or connect with certain spirits or things like that now i know some people do put alcohol on their um ancestral altars or whatever it is for whatever ancestor blah 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 but just understand that when you do that um you need to speak specific words over the things and items that you are placing on your altars um because it, it could be that they tried to mirror what you was doing, what the high vibrational person was doing in the past. And this low vibrational person didn't do the same protection or work that this high vibrational person did. So when they put alcohol up for offering, they called in some low vibrational demonic shit. And they're like, see, this is what happened to me and blah, 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 blah. So this person got to be messing around with something low vibrational and demonic when you call it in. You put specific incantations and words. I'm not going to tell y'all what they're telling me in my head because this could actually be somebody's words of what they say. Um, I'll let you know what it's pertaining to. It's pertaining to um, protections, uh, portals. Um, I'm actually hearing somebody chant it, but it, it's, it's, let's just put it like that. They know who's, whoever this is, 
learned and knows what they're doing and is being led by their guides whoever this is over there is trying to copycat this energy can't figure out why they can't copycat this energy is because they haven't put in none of the work so they do something because mercury like i said it rules over virgo gemini that's like the magician card in tarot they do something to to try to make it look like they did something to manipulate people into believing that they did some sort of work 818 on the timer and that whatever you have going on is just a oh, lucky you got lucky um but i you know when i did the same thing something bad happened to me but they must have did something lucky <laughs> so we have gemini over here um and the non-karmic energy that the, that the, the energy that the non-karmics are going to be pulling off of so you guys will be pulling off of gemini which is a third house energy a fourth house i'm sorry third house so somebody could be in connection with a cancer as well in contact and communication um some sort of sibling because gemini the third house is uh siblings uh like neighbors, people in your neighborhood, um, taking a short trip, communications, talking, writing. So somebody may have been writing, somebody could have visited a sibling in jail. Um, they may have been writing them and then they took a short trip. You know, this person could be, you know, somewhere nearby or something. Um, something may have happened during Gemini season. We have a Leo here. Water which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, and we have House 11, which is Uranus. So they're, like I said, they're trying to, and we have cardinal signs right here. Like I said, they are trying to mimic or emulate or manipulate the energy to be the same as your like copycat type of energy, but they cannot. House 11 is like, and that's like in front of friends. Look, friends, like-minded groups, and humanitarian beliefs. So somebody's going to get the opportunity here, high vibrational, to, to speak up or speak out. Um, whoever this is, you, you, your curiosity into whatever it is that you've been poking around or at or looking into or whatever it is that your spirit guides have been leading you toward, um, it's going to give you the opportunity to network network with people who um have the same level of intellect that you have and maybe even a little bit higher to uh lead you in a in a the direction you know more in the direction that you're supposed to be going in this energy right here is trying to emulate that so they can follow you in that direction they're going to be met with some sort of stalemate Something is going to get too congested for them over here. They're, they're going to have to take care of, of too much uh, cleaning up of the things that they've been manipulating and lying and things like that. A lot of things are going to come back to bite these people over here in the ass. Something about the high vibrational beings over here having self-confidence and, and being loyal to their creative endeavors. Creativity can also um, be like the imagination. The imagination is... Um, the part of the brain, as studies have shown, that uh, is activated when somebody is channeling or when a psychic is um, connecting. And we have spirituality, emotion, intuition, and compassion here. Instigation, bravery, and a pioneering spirit. So somebody's going to get the opportunity to speak. Um, somebody may contact somebody um, showcase is the word that i'm hearing someone's something about a showcase clarify these um karmic energies and the, and the astrological energies that the karmics are going to be pulling off of clarify please Something in reference to some sort of children's sports event or something that happened at a children's sports event and some sort of communication right here because Leo rules over the fifth house, which is like self-expression or, talk, you know, expressing yourself, having the spotlight on you, things like that. Um, it also rules over children or like childlike energy, um, love affairs, recreation, hobbies, sports, um, just how, however you express yourself. Um, 
we have the King of Swords right here on this side, Aquarius energy. <laughs> we have the Four of Swords, Libra energy. Got Libra, Aquarius, Gemini over here on the karmic side. Something in reference to the air signs. Um, Gemini. Nine of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Somebody could either have all of those highly aspected in their chart or those are the houses that they will be pulling off of. Um legal we'll, 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 we'll just run through it with the Libra first and then Aquarius and then Gemini so that's like um, partnerships legal contracts here now notice I said here with the Leo ruling over the fifth house this is about love affairs not partnerships okay that's different but we do have Aquarius, like I said, pulling off of both sides with the Uranus energy and the House 11 energy over here. They're pulling off of the low vibrational energy of it. You're pulling off of, well, I'm assuming I'm speaking to a high vibrational being, 1414 14 on my timer, um, which makes five and five. So somebody who may have changed um, over time here, but um, someone's trying to manipulate people into believing that they're humanitarian and like they care and have empathy and compassion about other people when meanwhile the non-karmic energy over here is showing it they're not just saying it okay um and we actually have libra aquarius gemini over here i just noticed that with the cardinal signs right here at the bottom of this deck libra is a cardinal sign and we have aquarius here with house 11 and gemini right here So they're definitely trying to mirror or mimic or mock some sort of energy. They could even be mocking you. She has a rune symbol on her arm and I'm just now noticing that. It's Ingwas. Somebody uh, was thinking that they would be able to put some sort of heartbreak to rest here um, or that they would be able to open some sort of old wound that somebody had already put to rest. So like I said, Libra energy, others, partnerships, relationships, legal contracts, um, Aquarius energy would be the ideals. That's that's like innovation, innovative things, um, altruism, friends, social groups, clubs, um, hopes and wishes. Um, so somebody was really hoping and wishing that they would be able to pull this off in front of some sort of social club or social group or, or group of friends that they have been able to manipulate before. Um, this could be somebody who's a healthcare worker. Um, Gemini, like I said, siblings, neighbors, short journey, communication, um, talking or writing. Somebody got curious and they looked at somebody's chart. They saw that, that somebody was going to be lucrative or that somebody stood to gain like an empire off of something. And whoever this was try to do it before the other person could do it and like a C I did it and I'm a successful blah blah blah, blah. I've done this I've done that and blah, blah blah and they're talking about the things that they have done and it, they may have done certain things that make it look like they have done certain things um but it's like failing. It's like, well, why do you have all these hiccups? And why do you have all this and that? Because over here, this was rushed. It was rushed to try to do something bigger and better before somebody else could even start. Um, I feel like that may have been what prompted some sort of high vibrational being into going on their spiritual path, going on their spiritual journey. They've always known the direction or sector of, of service, of help that they were supposed to be in.
because they've always been curious about certain things and developed certain things that uh, unknowingly that was going to help them in their journey over time here. All right, what do we have over here for the non-karmic energy? Ten of Cups, complete and total happiness, Ten of Wands, uh, no burdens. Um, a Sagittarius season. And what I said, that's how, see, like we said earlier with the stellium, how it shows, um, what are we saying? These are lessons from the South Node that have yet to be learned. So, like I said, when I looked it up, Sagittarius is where the South Node is currently right now in the sky. Um, or, you know, in astrology. From my side of the world. <laughs> um, I should state that I'm in Eastern Standard Time. So, Sagittarius right here, dropping those heavy burdens. Lessons from South Nodes that have yet to be learned. And the stellium is designed to assist in helping us move into your North Node in order to transcend karmic cycles. You know, tens are the end of a cycle. Transcend karmic cycles with family, friends that you may have grown out of. Uh, groups, like I said, that could be social groups, clubs. Um, hopes and wishes has me thinking of like praying. So this could even be religious groups. Um, or, or the, the ways of old ways, old paradigms or ways of thinking, you know, we are in the new age of Aquarius right now. So new problems require new solutions. Um, so you've found some sort of unconventional way to move forward, move on, to heal, to level up spiritually, emotionally, physically. Um, somebody, somebody found the cheat code. <laughs> okay y'all i'm gonna make this quick because my camera died y'all didn't see the cards that flew out at the end i had got the six of cups and the eight of pentacles and the king of wands so i'm gonna put those back because y'all didn't actually see those come out but from what i was getting with that was whatever happened whatever y'all ended ended in the past like y'all already healed those childhood wounds and um somebody was trying to hurt you again with some sort of nostalgia or bringing up something that happened in the past that was really traumatic and like i said you've healed from it they can't fathom that you've healed from this um in a way that's like what you didn't go to have a pastor put his hands on you you actually know how to lay hands on yourself and heal yourself no can't be you did something evil because i know you fuck around with those crystals it's those type of things so this could be somebody who's like really um religious or has some sort of like i said standing in the community um i heard achievable dream I know that's some sort of project or something like that. Um, they didn't want you to be able to achieve your dream. At the end of my last reading, if you go back and look at that, I was saying you're going to be the only one on the other side of that mountain. And look at you with this ten of wands here. The only one on the other side of that mountain. And you're paving the way. You're not going down a road following what somebody else did or said or anything like that. You're paving your own way and you're leaving mile markers. So those who come after you, can know the direction to go if they want to go in that direction look and another the third 10 10 10 10 come on y'all you're a legacy you're divine sacred geometry i'm seeing on that so you are protected by metatron he's definitely writing in the book of life what's going on They wanted you to still be caught up on something that happened to you in the past because they're still caught up on something that happened to you in the past. That doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> they can't get over it. So, and, and they don't want to do the work to get over it. Nine of Wands here. So definitely Sagittarius energy. We go from the Nine of Wands to the Ten of Wands. I'm going to actually put... Um, I grabbed this to see if there's any messages that they want to come through. Is there anything else that you want to say before I close this out? Oh, six of pentacles in reverse. So somebody is not going to get some sort of upgrade that they wanted. Temperance angel right here. And three of cups. Um, 
they were going to try to, like I said, come into it. I'm hearing the words by proxy. So they were going to try to come into this um, status, try to make themselves manipulate people into believing that they were some sort of earth angel or that they came here to help and come together and reconcile and all this other stuff when really they didn't they didn't plan on doing anything there whoever this is is not generous um the the karmic energies are not there was no equal give and take somebody was breadcrumbing somebody the fool Two of Wands. I was about to say I might need to change my settings on there, but I don't. Somebody has a decision to make. Oh, we got Queen of Swords over here, and we have the King of Swords over here. So this could have even been somebody's ex business partner or somebody's ex. This could be two people who were supposed to be working together and one person decided to branch off and kind of do their own thing, go the right direction while the other person was doing some underhanded stuff over here on the side. And they tried to project the energy of doing some underhanded, low vibrational stuff in over here by trying to say or be like associated with that person or have this person associated with something low vibrational or make themselves be associated with it. But whoever this is, is too smart. They're too connected to their intuition. Something happened during uh, Virgo Libra season or like that cusp uh, week. The Four of Pentacles. Somebody trying to hold somebody back. But it's okay because like I said, you've already gotten over the Yeah, Seven of Swords. They were lying, cheating in some sort of game that you didn't even know that you were playing. You were just following your divine path and doing what, the, what your spirit guides were asking you to do. emperor here the six of swords and the queen of wands so somebody is going to be moving forward either towards some sort of queen of wands or away from a queen of wands let's see because the six of swords is moving on to calmer waters so this emperor aries energy could be and the queen of wands is also aries energy this could be a masculine and a feminine aries just like we have masculine and feminine uh, air sign on both sides we got Libra a lot in my last reading, and in this reading, we got Gemini a lot. In my last reading, we also got Gemini a lot again, but we have the Five of Cups. Regret, Sorrow, King of Wands. It's Twin Flame. So someone wants to um, settle some sort of differences here. Um... Chess, not checkers. Somebody's going to make a power move. The star. The king and queen of wands could be two people who have a, a platform or a microphone. I'm, I'm looking at these wands like they're a microphone. Something about journalism or reporting. Look, the word that came through. Coverage. Something about journalism or reporting something. So somebody was covering some sort of story. Some sort of microphone here. What about this star? The star is healing, going in the right direction, moving forward. Knight of Cups. Somebody likes something or wants to... The devil, an influencer. Or something that's an influence. That could also be that under the influence, something has a stronghold on somebody. Something about alcohol or somebody being under alcohol influence, a low vibrational person, like I was talking about earlier with the alcohol. Someone's depressed. This Knight of Cups and the Five of Cups could also represent depression. Somebody might have some sort of, um, or might want to put something on some sort of public platform of some sort of celebrity because the devil and the star um 
And the King and Queen of Wands can definitely represent some sort of celebrity, something that they do for work here with this Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, or somebody may have paid to have some work done or did some work, um, paid somebody to cover something or not cover something. This could even be paying, um, like I said, somebody who has a position of high power to maybe cover or not cover something on the news. Eight of Pentacles can also be the gathering of evidence. Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away. Make things even. They're not, they, they don't want to deal with that anymore. Three of Wands. Someone, like I said, may want to do something unconventional here, um, even with the justice system. Psychic investigator is what I just heard. Uh, we have the Three of Wands, so something, the future, somebody who can see the future. The Three of Wands is the near future or being able to see what's coming. Somebody walked away from something because they saw that something was toxic. They saw what would have come if they would have stayed connected with this other person. It wouldn't have been no divine connection to the universe. It would have been a, a connection to something more sinister. There's a difference in going about something the right way. And look, rather, somebody would rather do that. They'd rather take the easy way out. The devil card also represents a fallen star. So somebody falling from stardom or somebody falling from grace. Somebody who was once held in high honor. There are people that's walking away from this person. They're starting to see all the toxic and, and all this energy that they were focused on doing something here. Um, focused on copying someone. Like they didn't have any... They didn't have any intention on being generous or or something towards somebody or they were supposed to give somebody something because there was like a bigger entity that was trying to see what this person could do with it. And that middleman that was supposed to be generous or give something to somebody, whether that be a word, a thought, some energy, some money or something like that, they didn't do it. And they were hoping that this person would fail and look at the other person like, see, see, you shouldn't give that to that other person anyway. You should have just gave it to me because I know what to do with it. Look, delivery. They were supposed to deliver some sort of message, money, something to somebody, and they did not do it. Ah, we get into the meat and potatoes of why this person is now still trying to emulate and say, oh, say, see, yeah, this person, oh, no, they had to do something bad because something didn't happen for these people that happened divinely for this person. And people looking like, well, if this person is so bad and evil and taking wrong routes, like, why didn't they get all fucked up like you did? And this person is saying, oh, oh no, it's because of this. There's whoever this is is still trying to make excuses. But delivery can also be like someone's delivery, how they deliver a message or how they say certain things. So what words did we get so far? Coverage, rather, and delivery. So they'd rather deliver a message or cover something um, that's going to keep people hooked or tied in. They want to do some sort of like entertainment type thing or they don't want to do anything that's going to help people heal or get out of something or learn something new. Because it could affect some, some sort of money. It could cause some sort of imbalance or instability in higher ups. Um, if some, a certain community or people find out about a, a way to heal without turning to shoveling out a bunch of money towards something else. Unconventional ways of doing that. Look, the Hierophant, the Three of Swords. What I said. Because those who want to stay stuck inside of the box, that's that ninth house energy right there. Um, but that's also Taurus energy. So second house, money, sense of values. Earned income, three of swords right here. So these could be people who are lower income um, that these people were trying to, these low vibrational people were trying to affect. And meanwhile, some sort of high vibrational person was trying to be generous with their energy and because they empathize and can sympathize with certain things. And there's a person over here, oh yeah, I can sympathize with y'all too. Mm -hmm, been there. Shut up. <laughs> Just please shut up. Please stop. Second. 
You're second place. You will never be first. King of Pentacles here. Clarify the King of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. So somebody was working together um, with some sort of partner. This could definitely be business. King of Pentacles. We saw the Emperor and we saw the uh, King of Swords. So these three could be three people. We took three of Pentacles here, three of Swords, three of Wands. So there's definitely a, a third party situation that was going on here where there was a middleman and this uh, emperor knew that he wasn't supposed to send no king, uh, pinnacles, king of swords or whatever it is, especially not the king of swords to be this middleman. He would have been better off singing, sending this king of pinnacles to be the middleman. Taurus energy again. Four of Wands, Aries energy again. Something about a house or a home or moving or like I said, some sort of neighborhood. Could even be projects. I just saw Five of Swords, Five of Wands, Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups. It was trying to cause some sort of chaos, confusion. So somebody wouldn't know who to choose or what to choose or what to do. Solid. But somebody's solid. Look, their manifestations are solid. Manifesting a solid foundation. We have the Ace of Swords. It's the truth here. And the Ten of Pentacles. That somebody is this legacy. Something was hidden in plain sight. The moon. And the two of cups here. So somebody's going to um, have some, somebody may even have some sort of secret conversation with somebody. Um, click. So somebody could click up with, with some people or link up with somebody. Look, ace of cups. Ace of Swords. Uh, that could even be a click online. Page of Swords. Somebody could be watching somebody online. They like what they see. They feel like this person is spitting straight facts. And they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person to reveal certain things that they feel like have been hidden from them. From the people that's around them in their immediate circle. So somebody is definitely going to click and ask them questions. Hop into somebody's DMs or something. Um, but be careful. We have the strength here. And the Nine of Pentacles, somebody is very strong by themselves and on their own and happy too with the Nine of Cups here. They don't need no group. Whoever's over here, they always got to do something in pairs or in a group. This person over here been doing it by themselves the whole time. The non-karmic energy. Everything they do is by themselves on the 3D. You know, with their guides and, and things like that. Like we saw with the Six of Swords, they... um. Or, well, I said Six of Swords. Did we even get the Six of Swords out here? <laughs> well, I'm seeing it, but yeah, God's guiding them forward. Look at this shit. Y'all see what that said? N-A-T-H-A-N. Nathan. What about it? Highest vibrational angels, ancestors, ethical. So somebody named Nathan or somebody associated with somebody named Nathan needs to make an ethical decision. Does this person need to make an ethical decision? What about Nathan's ethical? I thought this was going to be quick and then they just coming with it. I should have known pulling this out because I pulled it out for my subscribers. I'm look, cabin. So someone going to a cabin. But I'm hearing cockpit like a cabin that could even be the cockpit or the cabin area of a car or an actual airplane 
and then I'm hearing like jet blue or something like that. I think they took over spirit. Ooh, it took over spirit. Oh, or it's taking over spirit. Somebody trying to take over somebody's spirit. Messed with a friend or a family member. So somebody tried to do this on a friend or a family member that's close to you to see if it would like inadvertently or like, like I said before, by proxy, like somebody that they know had been around you. Um, they did something unethical and um, hoping that it would rub off on you or that energy would come towards you. It's like some sort of projection. Like I said, they couldn't come to you. They couldn't come at you. They tried it in groups. They tried to pretend like they was powerful enough to do this by themselves, um, but really was like paying other people to do it. And they weren't getting the, the results. Reiki healing. Somebody could be have, could have healed with Reiki. Look, you tried it. You thought you did something, didn't you? Somebody thought that they did something. And they did not. Somebody may have run away to some sort of cabin in the woods, in the mountains. Somebody has a cabin in the mountains. Apple of my eye. And I'm seeing an apple tree and an evil eye. <laughs> what? What? Somebody may have an apple tree. Something about a blue home, blue cabin in the woods and an apple tree. Um, down south. Positive affirmations, watching your social media. Um, that could be some sort of, um, I'm hearing witness protection. Stop tripping. Somebody's scared. Um, they think that they've been found out. Seventh chakra in reverse. So that means somebody's seventh chakra is blocked. Um, they have an unwillingness to be open to new ideas. That's these karmics. Look, sky. They have an unwillingness to be open to both to two sides or both ideas. They're ungrounded and they feel discontent. They don't read into certain things. They don't expand their mind. They don't try to gain knowledge on certain things that they don't have before. These people don't practice gratitude for what they have. They abuse their power. Like we saw in the tarot, an energy vampire. Look, award. So somebody's supposed to get awarded with something and they did not. <laughs> That's basically what this is saying. And whoever these karmic energies are, are trying to explain away why this didn't happen. Because it was figured out and they can't. The false person, because somebody was being fake. They said they did something that they did not do. And it has been proven that they did not do it. Keep your head up. Somebody kept their head up this whole time. The, the non-karmic energies. Trash. Bottom feeder. That wanted to come out in reverse. You're not trash. Somebody tried to throw your name, try to make your name, trash your name. Or your business or something. I can't be you, so I pretend to hate you. What I said, these people was trying to mirror you. They wanted to be you. They wanted to do you better than you. They didn't want to look at their own north node. That's what this crown chakra is in reverse. They didn't want to research into what it is that they came here on this earth to do. They didn't even want to ask you, hey, how did you go about that mission? No, they assumed you did something low vibrational to get ahead because you didn't get help from anybody here on the 3d and they ran with that shit claim false claims they ran with whatever it was that they claimed this false person and then try to come in and act like they was your knight in shining armor oh i could help you <laughs> What's this card that flipped over? I know something you don't. Somebody knows about this generous offer that was supposed to be made to you. Two truths and a lie. So this person was lying in your face. They would tell you some truth so it wouldn't seem like, but you would kind of always have that feeling like, was that it? Or something just ain't right. Look, not guilty. Friends, you're not guilty. Somebody lied to you about you, to their friends or whoever friends that they have that are in a high position. This could be the third person or the third party making these claims. So that way somebody, something could come towards them and not to whoever this person is that somebody of position of high power is interested in.
and they ended up getting knocked off their little high horse. I heard, look, Black Mirror, like I said, somebody watches you online, Abundance Attractor, they see you're an Abundance Attractor, and you're keeping up with it, you're consistent. That's why your foundations are solid. They can't do anything to shake your foundation, rock your foundation, move you, none of that. Look, gifted cards or gift cards, somebody may have um, something about gift cards, um, or you may use cards, you may be gifted with cards, like something straight from a movie, because it's like some something that was going on in the community or with the community that would be like something that, look, under, under everybody's nose that you wouldn't believe or under somebody's watch that you, it's like something from a movie, like you would have never thought that something like that happened. What was this claim? What was this false claim? I take back what I said. Oh, now they take back what they said with this false claim. What is this false claim that got somebody under some sort of investigation or some sort of watch here? What is this false claim that somebody made towards somebody's business or home or so somebody couldn't get some sort of brick and mortar so someone couldn't get a business or home? I heard loan or something like that. Gonna cause a whole lot of bitches jumping ship. So somebody's gonna cause people, somebody's scared that they're gonna cause people to move from religious, like a whole bunch of people to move from all these churches and whoever this is may own some sort of either spiritual based business, a church or some sort of religious, be the leader of some sort of religious group or something because they're scared that whoever this high vibrational person is because they figured out a cheat code of how to do it on their own instead of coming to other people and getting all this money and things involved because whoever this is over here is involved in politics this could even be healthcare. um they need people coming and getting medication and therapies and all this type of other stuff that they need insurance companies and stuff wasting money on and somebody figured it out and they're scared that they're gonna cause a whole lot of people to move over to the holistic side that's why they wanted to stop this person. And they employed somebody that they thought was this person's friend. When really it was just somebody that this person was associated with. Like a friend of a friend or somebody who they had to be in contact with because of something else or something like that. This could be, you know, somebody who works in the same industry as you or does, you know, some of the same things. Um, I heard pop-up. You could even met this person at a pop-up. Or this could have something to do with pop-ups, a pop-up shop. I said somebody skipped town to the mountains in a cabin. It could be some sort of blue cabin or something with some sort of blue trim. Um, and, and an apple tree. I don't know. Strong intuition. High priestess. Who died and made you boss? See? They think you sacrificed somebody. You had somebody killed. And they couldn't pin a body on you. <laughs> For getting your come up. Because you got it legitimately. <laughs> <laughs> they asked somebody got a body trying to pin a body on you ah that's what they don't want to come back as well they've been doing all types of stuff trying to get you caught up in something dirty <laughs> vacation they were taking vacations and stuff thinking like oh shoot we got it in the bag we finna get this money somebody was spending money that they didn't have yet irreplaceable and now they can't replace it look a warrior somebody's a warrior Akashic Records, Karmic Debt. Yeah, somebody's in debt. And it's been recorded in the Book of Life. They in debt. They soul is in debt. They, oh, they sold, they sold. Oh, somebody sold, they sold. Thinking that that's what this high vibrational person did. Because they was trying to get there fast. Like, oh no, this person is finna level up. They finna go through this new portal, new level. And I can't come with them. Hell nah, I gotta do something. I know this person did something bad. So then they had to convince everybody that you did something bad. And then do that. And then have other people do that. So now they all got karmic debt. <laughs> Look, hang. To everybody that was hanging around with them they all got they all caught up and hang could also be like the hangman <laughs> i was sent to spy on you unbreak my heart say you love me again somebody tried to do so a love spell like oh shit i don't fucked up let me do a love spell so this person can like me so that way they won't like press charges or if something does happen you know i'll get empathy and sympathy from this person and blah blah blah, blah. like bye they're hanging on their last thread like this it they're done and everybody who hung out with them is like what they're gonna hang this person out to dry love conquers all bye because you guys sit in love, energy of love, peace. 
They thought they was gonna get in there with you. Karmics versus non-karmics. Y'all better see what's coming up here. Abort mission, running. Came out as soon as abort mission. Who all gonna be there? Doppelganger. Look, I'm telling y'all. You two deserve each other. So that could be that king and queen of wands, that twin flame. On the run. I'm here on the one tour. Master. You two deserve each other. <laughs> This could be a karmic couple that was doing this. And they finna be on the run. Because they were supposed to be, they were sent in to be somebody, some high vibrational person's handler. By proxy, like I said, to attach some sort of energy to somebody that was connected to this high vibrational person. And they couldn't do it. This person is a master of their energy hair something about somebody's hair somebody holds strength or power Ooh, hair feed that came out quick somebody's hair is like feeds them power i was just about to say somebody's hair has their power so somebody's hair feeds them power venus that's taurus libra energy governs fashion hair so somebody could um be a cosmetologist do hair nails something like that work in some sort of shop um there's something about the crown Fashion, aesthetics, and all that's pleasurable in life, how you socialize, how you relate to and attract others. All right. So it's about money, beauty, art, um, how to love and be loved. Some word which was trying to fuck that up. This is the last couple ones and then I'm out. Just let my, my camera charge back up. You rejected me in the past. So you may have rejected some sort of offer that this person was trying to come to. They probably try to make something. Oh, you can't refuse this offer. It's the best and blah, 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 blah. You looked at that like, no, I'm good. Somebody may have even tried to feed you something and you rejected it. I'm seeing somebody take something and then kind of like throw it in the trash when somebody's not looking. Like they, <laughs> they pretended like they ate something. And threw that bitch right on in the trash. Somebody was trying to feed somebody something. Proud of you. Archangel Uriel. That's the angel of light. Tuesday and Sunday. So today is Sunday. The angel of wisdom and truth. Interpreted prophecies. The psychologist angel. Presides over the four corners of the earth. Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Like I said, somebody could have even been getting watched. Judgment. The final judgment. World. Um, somebody could have been getting watched by some sort of scientists or doctors or some sort of extra shit may have gotten involved. Like it, it's some, it's some real live, like behind the scenes type stuff that's going on. And it was all hidden in plain sight. It was all under the guise of the surface level thing was, oh, we just, we just don't want you to move forward. But the under level thing was, no, we got to get, look, Kelly. So we got two names. Um, Yeah. Taurus, cut the middle, <laughs> yeah, I'm not about to play with y'all, cut the middle man, that's what I'm saying, somebody tried to cut the middle man, that hierophant, Taurus energy, blood of the covenant is thicker than the waters of the womb, that means the family you create has a stronger bond than probably the family that you was born into, this could be somebody's family, never get high on your own supply, Gemini energy right here, um, so there could be a Gemini who, you know, sells some shit or whatever. <laughs> they get high, some medicinals, some herbals. I don't know. Uh, we have Saturn right here. That's Saturday. So Saturday, Sunday um, pushes somebody to evolve, to grow ascension. This is about law and order. So somebody did something the right way. Come. We have come to me spell. Somebody did some sort of come to me spell. Or somebody wanted somebody to come over, read the room. But somebody read the room. That's that who all going to be here, their energies. Okay. All I want is everything too much is not enough. All facts, no fish in my fiction. My life is a motherfucking mission. Um, that's that Aries energy. So that emperor was looking for this empress. It was a specific something that this person was looking for so instead of somebody putting them in contact with the right person 
because they felt like this person was like too poor or low level or something like that. They didn't. So this person couldn't give them this generous offer because they wanted it to come to them. Oh, no, no, I'm more established. I have more money. Um, I have this business too um, because, you know, they wanted to do something before somebody else or faster than somebody else. Look, I promise, tailor made. Hmm. Also, somebody could be abundant by association. Deliver us. So something in reference to a delivery, a message. Um, somebody's mission is to deliver messages. Um, but like I said, or to help somebody to heal, to deliver people from some sort of pain or strife or something. I'm getting a shoulder pain, like in the back of my shoulder. I'm hearing that song from the Prince of Egypt. Deliver us and the shepherd to shepherd us. <laughs> Deliver us to the promised land. Like, I promise, Taylor made to the promised land, to where they were supposed to go. Something was hidden in plain sight. Call me. You know what? Hydromancy. If nobody told y'all today, I'm going to tell you, I love you. Peace. Some of you call somebody, they're going to come. You call on something, they're going to come. Somebody does some sort of hydromancy, and they've been calling on something, and it came. And it washed them away, showered them with divine energy. And they're now able to deliver other people. Look, reliable. Somebody's reliable, dependable. They came every single time. 3434 on my new timer. They came. They delivered every single time. All right. You have anything else you want to say? Because you beeping over here. Okay, it went up and then it went back down. If nobody told y'all today, I'm going to tell you, look, Archangel Gabriel, <laughs> the strength of God. If nobody told y'all today, <clears throat> somebody's name could be Mary. I don't know why I'm getting all these last minute messages because <laughs> the Archangel Gabriel is Monday. So something between Saturday and Tuesday. Well, Tuesday is the, um, somebody could have been doing something. Saturday, Sunday again, Monday again, Tuesday again. Like somebody is doing something over and over again. A teddy bear is still a bear. So somebody's poking a bear thinking that somebody's soft when they finna get mauled by this motherfucker. Okay. If nobody told y'all today, I'm gonna tell you. I love you. Peace. Peace.